Hey everyone, John Muller with Dominatrix Genetics here and I just wanted to go over with you some peppers we've got growing in the side of our vegetative stock area. And so these are some Thai hot peppers that I started from seed and they are growing and flowering under a 20 hour on, 4 hour off photo period. These are in, a, or this is in a gallon and a half pot here. It's getting the same watering and fertilizer regime as the rest of our cannabis stock plants here. And this is a bunch of experimental stock plants we have. And all it's getting is the side lighting from these T5s here. It doesn't have its own light source. And as you can see, it's doing really healthy and also producing a lot of peppers. This is a very hot variety. Just to give you an idea of size, if I grab on here, these are not huge peppers, but they're pretty good since they're really, really hot. So you would actually have a hard time eating a whole one of these directly. And so if I scroll down here, you can see we've got a decent amount of peppers going on. And it's a really good producer. And these were all pollinated by hand by me. And so I'm going to show you how to do that in a second you'll read on some websites that you can't grow peppers indoors because they need to be pollinated um, by uh, insect pollinators, which is true, but you can manually pollinate them. It's not the most efficient way, but for just small scale personal use like this, it's definitely an option. So here, I'll show you how to do that now. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to pollinate the pepper flower manually. This is a really simple, simple method that you can do quickly and easily and do a bunch of them. You know, just, this is not for large scale production, but this is a way to do it for, you know, personal use. So this is the pepper flower. For identification's sake, basically the, the white petal parts around the edge are called the sepals, the male part that has the balls around the base that actually produce the pollen. Those are called the uh, stamens. And the white part, the little tube that sticks out from between the stamens, that's called the pistil. That's the female part that's actually gonna receive the pollen. So basically, you just stick your finger up under there and you have to pick the right time to where they're producing pollen. And we'll go over that in the next part of the video. So, if you see that when I do that, I have a little bit of pollen on the end of my finger there. And so I can just rub it around and basically get pollen on the end of my finger and then you go find another flower on the plant and basically come up under and just rub the pollen up against the little uh, female part, the tube that sticks out that's the pistol. And you just kind of do that and you're done and you just go through and do that on a bunch of different flowers. You can do it on all the ones that are open at the appropriate stage on the plant at the time and that's how you can do manual pollination of peppers indoors. All right, so I switched out lenses here and I wanted to show you guys a little bit about how to tell when to collect pollen. And so here is a flower that is open but not quite ready to collect the pollen. And so as you can see, the pistil is extended, which means it is able to receive pollen, but the stamen are not open yet. They are still closed up. Those are the, the little blue things with the yellow stripe at the base. And so because they're still closed up, they are not producing and releasing any pollen yet. So right now, this flower is in a receptive state, but it's not giving off pollen. And worth noting, the petals are open, but they're a little bit uh, closed still at this point. So now, if I bring in for comparison, this little more open flower that's farther along and more mature, you can see that the petals are more open. That's one tell. If I turn them both sideways, you can see that the more mature flower has more open petals and the less mature flower is more closed. Uh, additionally, you can see that the stamen, the blue part, are more extended in the mature flower here um, on the right. And if you look close, you can see that the stamen are actually starting to open up and you can see a little bit of fuzziness 
around let's see here, around the stamen and that those that fuzziness or powderiness is the pollen just starting to be released and so really right here is about the ideal time to collect the pollen uh, this is when it's going to be in its most productive state all right and here for comparison is just an older flower and the ways you can tell that it's more mature is that the, the petals are no longer as open they're starting to close up again and that's a sign of maturity and also if you look at the stamens they are really open and they've released the majority of their pollen at this point so you could still collect pollen off this but at this point this flower would be considered past prime for pollinating this is towards the end of its life cycle and today I'm going to be going over with you how to harvest seeds from a pepper plant the plant you see here, we've been growing indoors in our cannabis stock area, and it's time to collect some seed. These were grown from seed from a pepper plant that I grew last year, actually, and I collected seed from and then started this year, and now these are ready to collect some more seed from. So I want to go over with you guys what to look for as far as the uh, pepper maturity and then also the actual process of collecting the seed so that you guys can do this yourself. So uh, across the pepper you'll see a variety of different levels of maturity or stages of maturity and so over here you have like your green peppers and these are your immature peppers. These are the ones that are just starting off and then they change from green and then they progressively start to turn a darker like purple color and so if you see like this one up here these are kind of in the in-between stage where they start turning that purple color and then this one over here is starting to get a little bit of the red tone in it so they go from green to purple and then they start turning red and then like you can see the ones down here are fully red and so that's the basic stage of progression of maturity and so once they get to this red stage where they're fully red and plump this is when you typically would harvest them to eat them and so this you can collect seed at this point and they will be viable but I typically wait a little longer to make sure that they've reached the maximum maturity and if I go a little deeper in the plant here some of the older ones um, all of you can see here there's they start to essentially look like they're wilting if you will but they're they're kind of shriveling up and so the pepper is fully red it's still attached to the plant but now it is basically sucking the water back out of the pepper and into the plant and so you're getting this red shriveled pepper look and this is your fully mature pepper and this is your really like ideal time to collect to harvest seed because this is when the seeds will be f most fully developed and the pepper is still moist so we're still able to separate the seed from the mucilage relatively easy whereas if we wait until it dries then the pepper material the actual like fruiting part will stick to the seeds and will be hard to get off and so let's take a closer look at the peppers so we can make sure you guys understand the coloration change and stages of maturity okay so here's the peppers in order of maturity from left to right and so here you can see the immature pepper it's light green and you can see the remnants of the flower petal at the top of it and then that transitions into a darker green stage and then at about halfway through maturity the pepper starts to turn a dark purple color with a little bit of red tones and then at mature stage when it's ready to be harvested for edible use they are plump and red and full of water and then at the final stage of maturity they are darker red in appearance and they start to look shriveled because the plant has begun to retract the water back into the plant to begin the drying process of the pepper so that it can release the seed to start the next generation and so that's the maturity of the pepper from youngest all the way to the most mature. Now let's go take a look at how to harvest these seeds. 
Alright, so now we're going to go over how to harvest the pepper seeds. And so here we basically have our cutting board and a paper plate and two peppers. And so as you can see, they're uh, fully mature. They're starting to shrivel up, but they're also still soft and flexible, so they haven't started to dry yet. And so basically the way we're going to harvest these is we're going to tear a slit all the way up the length of the pepper and that's going to expose the seeds and then we're going to run our finger along the length of it to extract them. So here you can see I'm going to use my fingernails to just tear open the length of the pepper. Doesn't have to be anywhere in particular, you're just basically tearing it open lengthwise. Then here you can see all the seeds inside, they're just pretty much stacked up in there. And then you can use your finger to run it along the, the pepper to extract the seeds. And then as you can see, it basically just leaves an empty skin behind. It gets them out pretty good. And just leaves a bunch of peppers behind. I'll do this other one here and again we're just going to use the fingernails to tear a slit open up the length of the pepper. And then use our finger to push along and extract the seeds. that leaves an empty shell or skin and then that's basically it and then you just kind of want to spread the seeds out a little bit so they're not touching because otherwise when they dry they'll tend to stick together so if you take the time to space them out that's a good idea and then you just want to leave them in a room somewhere where they have good airflow you know not in direct sunlight and in about a week or so depending on your you know, environmental conditions, the seeds will be dry to the touch and, you know, you can pick them up and they won't stick to your hand or anything. And at that point you can bag them up and store them for next year or whenever you plan on sowing them. And that's it. That's how you collect the seeds from the pepper.